Greetings, Benevolent Bodhi here to introduce and explain how to use my Crafting Writ Calculator tool available on my website. Crafting Writs have been around for years. However, for console players, they can be prohibitively time consuming to do manually. Consequently, it can be frustrating for these players to watch PC players ride their Crafting Writ add-ons all the way to the bank some making hundreds of thousands of gold, if not millions of gold each week. Before you start, you will need to answer these four questions. How many inventory slots are available? Bring up your inventory window to find out what this number is. On consoles, this is found just under your gold at the top left. For low level provisioners, you will need to know what your alliance faction is. If your character is not Ebonheart Pack, like the character shown here, you can purchase a change token in the Crown Store. I'm just kidding, if your character is not Ebonheart Pack, it will also calculate the recipes for you. Finally, you will need to identify your alchemy solvent proficiency and your provisioning recipe improvement values. These are found in the skill section of the UI. For alchemy, it will be the first item in the list. The recipe improvement value will be found in the provisioning section as the second item in the list. Here is our first look at the tool. Shown in this picture are the mandatory fields. I hope you're paying attention in the previous section because it's quiz time. The first field is days to calculate. This is the number of days the tool will simulate to generate your list of crafting writ items needed. The alchemy value is used to create a link to the recipes for each tier and calculate any additional slots needed for the top tier writ. The provisioning proficiency and alliance faction will be used to generate the list of six recipes you need for your crafting writs. Since alchemy and provisioning items can be stacked, the tool recommends that you complete these as a minimum. The other professions are optional. Let's see the tool in action. The first field is the number of days to simulate. The number in the brackets indicate the number of slots that will be needed for the number of days selected. If you do not have a crafting bag, the tool will calculate the additional slots needed for the non-crafted items requested by some of the writs. If your recipe improvement is higher than three, the faction will not matter. After that point, the recipes requested are all the same. Note for the equipment professions, blacksmithing, clothing, and woodworking, and jewelry crafting, the items requested are always the same. However, the material needed will be different for each tier. So make a note when you obtain your writs. Note the title of your enchanting glyph. This will be superb or trifling. This information will be used to calculate the rune combinations you'll need to make your glyphs later. Once you've made all your selections, hit the calculate button. If the popularity of this tool hasn't overwhelmed my website, you should get the results in a second or two. In the alchemy section, you will find a link that will show you all the items you need to craft and the reagents needed to make them. In the provisioning section, you will see all the writ recipes you will need for your current tier. These can be found at any chef or brewer vendor throughout Tamriel. The higher tier recipes can get a bit pricey, so you may want to buy them from other players. The link provides you with the chef and brewer prices of the writ recipes. One of the best places to get these recipes is the Rosy Lion Inn. There's a free inn room there, and it's next to the Way Shrine in Daggerfall. The items in the blacksmithing, clothing, jewelry, and woodworking categories are presented in the same order as they would appear in the creation UI at the crafting table. 
In the enchanting section, the rune, recipes, and combinations are shown here. If you do not have a crafting bag, you will see numbers in the rune 1, 2, and 3 fields. These are the runes needed in addition to your crafted item for the writ completion. Between each section, there will be a new link. This takes you to the calculator if you discover an error or want to run a new simulation. And that's it. I hope you enjoy the tool. Thanks for watching. Want more content like this? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Didn't take notes? No problem. There's a full write-up on my website at benevolentbody.ca. Until next time, take care, good luck, and see you in Tamriel.